Today we're gonna to be answering the question, can a drone fly in a fireball? Um, you think anybody's had that question? As I said before, I wanna get back to doing a lot more testing. But for things that are uh, a little bit riskier or have a high probability of failure or ending in some sort of catastrophe, I, I really don't wanna do that with my pretty Mavic. So I've, uh, I've come up with an official stunt drone. This is, this is gonna be my channel stunt drone. It is the Cheerwing. I think it's Cheerwing CW4 cost about one five hundredth of the price of the Mavic and then I don't need it to fly well or take good videos because this does neither of those things let's go all right so and I'm gonna be putting the propane in these balloons then we're gonna pop the balloons with fire and that's gonna be our fireball all right, this is a little technique I learned from potato jet last time I was in LA Whoop. dang it now we're on it. All right, got it. All right, we got it. Right, we're gonna start small for the first one. Eric, you gonna fly the drone? Sure. We're just gonna stick her on like that. We're gonna get the drone like right here, and then fire, I guess. Slow mo's going. My prediction is that the hot air is gonna make it drop like a rock. Ready? Let's do it. You're killing me, small. Oh my god! And that's why we have a stunt drone. That was a lot more fire out of that little bitty balloon than I anticipated. Two of the four are actually okay. This one's not too bad here, but this fourth one is pretty toasted. <laughs> I think we should go bigger. I got this drone thinking I was gonna have like this new stunt drone that I could do stuff with. I don't think it's surviving today. Try to take this off again. Let's see if it'll even fly. All right, what do you guys think? Is it gonna fly? What? Beautiful. It's his first time flying. All right, we're going bigger. I think we've pretty much doubled the size of the balloon on this one. Uh-oh. Here we go. It's almost like it evened it out a little bit. I think it did. It took off some of the... Some of the boogered up part? Yeah. But like, look at this part right here. It's like it, it melted, it was hot for so long that it flung, like it flung the plastic away. I think we've, we've proven that a drone can't fly in a fireball. I think the air is just way too thin. It doesn't mean we're done, so let's do a few more. I'm impressed with my microphone stand. I've had this since I first started doing video work. This is, this is special. Special. Ooh, that's warm. There you go. Eric facing his fear of popping balloons. <laughs> it's scary enough when a balloon pops in your face, but a balloon filled with highly flammable material. Oh, yes. Perfect. You know what's the weird thing about these with the propane in? They're, it's too windy. They're really heavy. Like, they, they don't feel natural. They don't feel like balloons. I'm a little nervous to light this. Seriously. That first one, I did not get low enough, and I felt it. Mother of all propane balloons. Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Oh, I forgot my glove. <laughs> all the hair's gone off my hand. Wow, so it bent this one all the way down into the prop guard. That was nuts. I couldn't see it, I had my eyes closed, but. Doesn't sound good. That's full throttle. There's no lift left in the prop. Do it again, go full throttle. Ha! It's, it's, not, even, it's not even moving air. All right, let's swap the props out. I really did uh, want to have this as being a stunt drone, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to get another stunt drone because this is, is just not gonna survive. The drone was originally as white as this and it has gotten slowly you can see it's, browner. You can see it's Even the plastic's rippled in a few spots around here where I guess it stayed in the heat a little bit longer. 
That is so fascinating. I'm trying to sound scientific. We're gonna send a little cheer wing. Okay, by the way, is this cheer wing or sheer wing? Cheer I wing. Think it's cheer wing. Cheer wing. Cheer wing. We're gonna send him off in style. We're gonna be aggressive. B E aggressive. Before you start messaging me, I am in no way endorsing being cruel to drones. <laughs> even though my channel has not proven that at all. But we feel like we're gonna send him out in a blaze of glory. A light coating. Okay. The royal send off. Need my glove. You served us well, cheer wing. Sending you out in a blaze of glory. Well, the alcohol didn't do anything. Whoa. It's now on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the flames on There it side. is. <laughs> All right. Fly it, fly it. Look at the arm. Look at the arm. Oh, internal okay. fire. Served us well, cheer wing. Pour one out for our homie. <laughs> Dear Lord, tough. Oh. There went the battery. battery. All right, so the cheer wing is uh, just kind of slowly fizzling, fizzling to a death. Anyway, keep your drones away from fires. <laughs> they should put that in the manual. It's so weird. <laughs> yeah, you, I, I guess you can say I'm in the market for a new stunt drone. Recommendations down in the comments. Yeah. You know, what got me thinking about this was, uh, you know, those, there's been a lot of wildfires out in California this year or, or last year. As dumb as it is to be flying a drone when there's an emergency situation going on and there's a lot of emergency vehicles and helicopters in the area, it's also not safe for your drone to be in the air above, uh, above any kind of fire where the air is going to be too thin for the drone to even fly. So we learned something today. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment. And uh, stay tuned for more testing. See you in the next one.